also called Citrix, and uh, uh, show you what Minitab looks like if you haven't uh, logged in and seen it already or watched the tutorials. So notice under Course Home, uh, you have an iLab link, and you'll also have it on the even weeks when we have an assigned iLab. Either one of these has options to get you to iLab. So if we click on it, we see all of these instructions, and so uh, you have these instructions, which uh, this was what I have to obey. Uh, for students, you have these criteria uh, for your password. And so everybody uses a D number. Uh, faculty have to use this other uh, prefix, uh, the, the, the domain name, and then all these passwords things. So if you click on Go to Citrix over here, it uh, will present you with a login, which I've skipped. Uh, uh, just for the sake of brevity. So once you do that login you'll see a screen just like this and you scroll down and here's Minitab 16. Uh, cute little green uh, app and it looks like this. Now it probably won't load that quickly for you. And there I just loaded it a second time. Uh, but this is basically how it looks. Uh, you have a spreadsheet interface here and uh, you can actually cut and paste uh, data right in there or enter it manually. In fact, in the thread of discussion called using Minitab, you see some screenshots that look like this where I had cut and paste uh, data from an Excel text file that uh, came right out of your textbook uh, supplement materials. So look for a, another uh, tutorial on actually how to run some calculations in Minitab. I just wanted to show uh, the basic login process and the how you get there.